<laughs> it looks so weird. I'm looking at the I'm looking at the camera, but it it actually it it actually shows me looking at. Yeah, you're looking at the viewfinder, and then there's the camera there. Oh, so that's <laughs> how. Okay, hi there. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, all right. I'm not good. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm JJ Johnson, and today we're going to look at the Zippo 4-in-1 saw slash tool, and I'm going to kind of give you my impressions of it. So I've had this for quite some time, and I've used it a few times, gone out with it several different times, and I have uh, kind of mixed opinions about it. Um, the tent stake aspect of it, the tent stake remover, that's this down here is really annoying and really cumbersome and I don't like it at all. Um, and the length of it for me is too short. I would like it to be about another six inches long and then have this end. That would be optimum for me. But um, So as far as construction goes, uh, most of it seems to be fairly well constructed. The only, there is one problem that I know will, will be a problem in extremely cold weather, and that is that it's got a hollow plastic handle. Um, I'm not exactly sure how far down the metal comes. It feels like it comes down a ways, but it's hard to say. And so I don't think this is going to be an extreme temperature kind of tool. It does come with two blades. And the blades are actually very nice, and they could be used separately. Okay, so the axe part. This is the cover, and the cover is fine. Um, it's useful as long as you don't lose this little screw stud here. As long as it stays on, it'll be good to go. Um, and it's definitely safe. You know, and it but it is a part of the saw. And so you can take a look here at how that goes together. Now, as far as the axe goes and, and all that, uh, this is a light duty type axe. As you can see, it is not very thick. It doesn't have the normal thick backside of an axe, you know, like, like back here where there's a lot of weight. It's just plastic and, and that kind of thing around it. And or it may be like some sort of aluminum or something that's back here, but it's just not as heavy as a normal axe. And you can tell that when you're cutting with it. Um, it's just light duty. That's, that's really all I can say about it. it, it Maybe medium duty at most. It's going to be good for deliming poles, for doing tent stakes, for doing stuff like that. It might be good for doing some light processing of wood. Um, you know, I do a little bit here in the uh, backyard, you guys will see some of that. Um, but nothing heavy duty, it's just really not going to be heavy duty, oh, medium duty at most. There. Um, the ergonomics of it feel fine, it, but it actually, the way it balances out, it, it really is more comfortable to use as a one-handed tool. It's just, because of the way this end is, it's just not comfortable to hold as a two-handed tool and use. And, I mean, this tent stake thing is just completely in the way. And then you've got the other kind of bumps here for tightening the blade up that don't help, really. So, the question I've been asking myself with this thing is, um, is it worth or would it be worth taking in a bug out bag. So I've been doing a re revamp of my bug out bag and I'm trying to decide if I want to take my normal two and a quarter pound Hudson Bay axe or do I want to take this. And I'm really torn because I think for 75% of the situations, the stuff that you come to for just building light normal fires, I'm out here on the east coast in the eastern woodlands um, in you know Virginia, where there's usually plenty of pine pitch and plenty of you know trees and limbs and twigs and stuff, and I don't think that all there's going to be too many circumstances where there would be something that I couldn't do the job with this, but I don't know if it would be the most efficient tool for it. 
I really like though, I gotta tell you guys, I really, really like the fact that it has two great blades in it. And the saw, as you'll see here, really works well. I mean, it really does. I mean, it actually cuts through stuff really good. Um, the saw blades are, are nice. They're definitely heavy duty. And they could also be used independently. You could take these blades, put a couple of quarter inch bolts with them, and you could just have stuff that you could make a buck saw with. So that's a potential option too. Now I'll put the link uh, down in the description below to where you guys can check these out. I don't remember the price right off the top of my head. Um, I think it really comes down to where if you're in a situation where you're trying to save weight, you want to go light, you want to have a cutting tool, you also want to have a saw option, and you want to have them all together in one, then I think that's this is the way to go. I think it would work for that for most situations. If you just needed to go and get out for a few days, this is going to work out pretty good, I think. You know, I, I think it would work for most, most situations. Uh, it's not going to be fail-proof, though. You know, I mean, it's medium-duty kind of thing. So, anyway, hopefully I don't seem like I'm vacillating on it too much, going back and forth. That's pretty good. Um, I'm just trying to give you an honest assessment of what it is. I, I would give it about a... Give it about a seven and a half or an eight out of ten, only because I'm worried about the plastic handle uh, breaking in cold temperatures and stuff, and then also the ergonomics on it on the back half of it I don't like, and then it doesn't have quite enough weight on the on the head for me for chopping. Um, but I really like the saw aspect of it. I really like that the blades hide up in in the handle, aside from the fact that that weakens it some. But I do like that you get that kind of in one option. Now they call it a four in one. Why do they call it a four in one? Well, they, they consider the tent puller a tool, which is garbage. They also consider this, I, I, I'm assuming it's plastic. I don't know if it's, it's metal or plastic. Let me see if I can even scratch it to, yeah, it feels, it feels plastic to me. Um, I assume there's metal underneath there. It's probably coated, plastic coated metal. They consider that to be a hammer. I wouldn't personally consider that to be a real effective hammer. Um, so for me, it's only an axe and a saw. It's a two-in-one. The Zippo two-in-one is what it is. They could take that off and that whatever. It just It does add a little weight, but not enough. So anyhow, um, that's kind of my assessment. As always, guys, I definitely appreciate it when you click the thumbs up button, when you share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And don't forget to live the six Ps. Proper prior preparation prevents poor performance. Stay safe, guys.